Hey Brad, here we go, into the abyss. Yeah. Incredible, Chris. Hey, birds? Sparrows? Yes. Yeah. yeah, they're birds. This is the fog line here. See them? Yeah, the reds are. Yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. Different on each side of the fog. Yeah. And the right hand side of the ground got heaved up in the air. Yep. And you can see that band of nuts there. Yep. Up there. Yeah. Down there, straight ahead of us, is a corresponding band of nuts before it got heaved up. Right. Yeah. So there's a difference downstairs. About eight foot from one side of the fault to the other of the level. Wow. The flow level. Okay. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah, I see that slide there. And you get um, how how do you get those nuts? Is it is it any opal in any of that band? Uh, Not worth it. One in fifty thousand. <laughs> okay. <It's laughs> or maybe less sometimes. Maybe yeah, right. more others. Yeah. And uh, there's varying bands of nuts. From the ground level down to the bottom, sometimes three different levels. Okay. Of those nuts. Wow, yeah. this is pushed, pushed a different times. No, it's Shifted. just how they settled. I don't know right. whether it happened, uh, you know, in between layers of sand being put down. Because it's sandstone all the way down to 40 feet. Yeah. Right. And then you got clay, so. Where the clay is must have been a lake or a river sometime. Sure. One would think. And then over the years, so where these nuts come from or how they did it, I don't know. But before our time, they mined the top layer of nuts. Yep. And, uh, yep. Yeah, it didn't do any good and, and left it. And then your dad worked it after that, Chris? Yeah, well, that, that was already existing when we picked it. 